Hello and welcome to the Depression Session on KTDT LP Tucson, Downtown Radio. Today we have with us in the studio Jennifer Scott, film producer of Open Eyes Productions LLC. Her current film, Eyes Upon Awakening, is about her own suicidal depression. I'm Laura Milkins and I'm an online interactive performance artist and currently a radio host of the Depression Session. Trigger warning, today's episode does discuss suicide, so if that's an issue for you, this might not be the episode for you to watch. The Depression Session is a radio show where guests are invited to come on the show and live on the radio tell the story of their depression. It's as simple as that. And the purpose behind it is destigmatizing depression. First, let's just start with imposter. So this week I've been thinking a lot about feeling like an imposter because my depression's not that bad. And I think a lot of people with depression tell themselves, oh, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm just a little off or, you know, I, I don't have deep, dark depression, so it's not real. I always start by talking about a specific topic that relates to my experience of depression. Like I tell a little story at the beginning of every show because I feel like asking people to come on to tell their stories, I want to tell my story as well. I don't want to just ask someone else without being willing to share. In 2011, I walked across the country. The day I told my stepdad I was coming home, he died that night. And on my journey home, my dad got very ill, and he did make it through the end of my journey. I was able to go down to Florida, visit him, and uh, spend a month with him over Thanksgiving. And then I went back home. And when I went back down to Florida, it was to go to his final days. He just had three more days, and that was it. And after that, I grieved really hard for a year. I just, just, it's so devastating to lose a parent. There's no one in the world who loves you like that. At the end of that, and it was just about a year actually, there came a point where I felt like going out in the world again. But there's this lingering blues. I wanna isolate, I don't wanna call people back. When someone I love calls me, I don't want to pick up the phone. And I make myself pick up the phone and they say, hey, you want to go for a walk? And I think, no, <laughs> no. In the worst of my depression, I was at home listening compulsively to podcasts in bed. <laughs> so I just think this might be the right venue to talk about depression. I can imagine somebody else lying in their bed listening to podcasts and finding this one and feeling comforted. The first thing I did was just post something on Facebook like, hey, I'm going to be doing this show on depression. If you know anybody who's depressed, come contact me. And out of the woodwork, I mean, by the first post, I had 11 or 12 people who were like, yes, please. I'd love to tell my story. I think for someone who's in the depths of it, that probably wouldn't be their first impulse to call me or write me an email and say, I'd like to be on your show. But for somebody who has been through it, has found some ways of coping, they really want to give back. That has been my experience with every guest. They want to let people know there is, there is something you can do. There is help out there. You can get through this. I got through this. Here are some things that helped me. Jen, tell us the story of your depression. Uh, so it's not until you know really the film realizing this, but you know when I start thinking about and reflection, going back to probably you know as early as fourteen, possibly younger. Um, you know, I grew up with a lot of verbal, um, a lot of mental abuse. There wasn't any scars, so you know, no one really believed me. It doesn't matter how many stories you hear. It's just having somebody authentically tell something from their heart is really powerful. And the end result for the feelings of depression is, I don't know that the depression goes away, but it feels lighter. It just feels, it feels like I feel more okay with it. <laughs> I feel more like, okay, depression, I see how you are. It's not just me. When you're in that blackness, you don't realize you're in that blackness. You don't want to talk to anybody. You want to go anywhere. This is not about fixing depression. This is not about like finding some fix for me and for everybody and sharing. Because most of my projects, I do something and then share the results with people, right? This is not like that. This is literally just sharing to just have someone tell their story and someone out there in radio land or podcast land would hear it and just feel like, yeah, that's my story too. A lot of people love you and you will be missed and don't give up and it's not your fault. 
Embrace it. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.